What's up everybody, Andrew with NQS Performance Outdoors here coming to you from the basement workshop. In between getting ready to move and, you know, staying busy with work, I'm still trying to find some time to go fishing. Uh, opening day is right around the corner. I uh, started going through some of my top water baits and I started to notice that the rear treble hooks that are dressed on a number of those baits are pretty beat up. It's probably the only downfall to topwater fishing, to be honest with you. You know, that bait gets in the corner of the mouth, and you got to get after it with the pliers, and eventually you just tear up the dressing on that treble hook. So today what I wanted to do is a quick tutorial, show you guys a cheap and easy fix. Uh, I know the dressed treble hooks uh, at Bass Pro Shops are a little on the pricey side. I'm going to show you guys a really simple way and a quick way to do it yourself um, at home for not too much money. So stick with me here. We'll get over to the fly tying shop and we will show you how to dress a treble hook for a top water bait. All right, you guys, here we are over at the fly tying station. Quick rundown of all the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need some flashaboo accent. I'm going to use bucktail today. You can use bucktail or you can use hackle or feathers, whatever you prefer. I happen to have bucktail on hand, so that's what I'm going with today. A decent pair of scissors a thread bobbin and some flat wax thread and obviously some treble hooks. I've got one clamped in my fly tying vise right now so we'll get this camera flipped around and we'll show you guys how I tie them. Alright so once you're clamped in and ready to go the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a good base layer of thread. This is important anytime you're tying anything with bucktails or any kind of flies you're going to make. What this does is this gives your uh, bucktail a nice sturdy base and it's going to prevent it from sliding around on the hook shank when you're trying to tie it on. So. We give that a full wrap, but I try to come even with the hook points, and then I'll come back up. Get that tag end snipped out of there. And I'll try to zoom in on that just so you guys can see what it looks like a little bit better. Alright you guys, I'm going to try to get in really tight on that. Hopefully it doesn't go too far out of focus. It's tough to zoom on these GoPros, but... That's all we're looking for is just a good base layer for your bucktail to grip onto. Alright, so now that I've got a good solid base layer, I'm going to go ahead and get my flashaboo accent set in there. Guys, the toughest, the toughest part about working on these treble hooks is the um, short little hook shank. It's hard to get your fingers in there sometimes, but we'll go ahead and we'll give that a couple of loose turns. and that's going to allow me to adjust it around just kind of the way I want to get it in there. Once I've got it where I'm comfortable with it, I'll cinch down tight on it. And then this is really important, guys. I'm going to take this end here and I'm going to fold it over. That's going to do two things. It's going to double up my flash, but it's also going to make it much more difficult for me to pull that flash out of there if I got to get in there with the, with the pliers or something to get that hook out. Um, it's just going to hold that flash in there much more sturdy. Don't worry about the length on the flash, guys. We can trim this up later. And then I'm going to rotate my vise 180 degrees. And I'm going to get a few more pieces of flash stuck in there, just like I did the first time around. Guys, with the flash, you can put as little or as much as you want. You can do it with none at all. You can do different colors of bucktail. I'm going to do this one in white today, just hoping that the white will show up better on camera. So again, it's going to be a loose wrap. I'm going to get that flash boo right where I want it. Now I'm going to go ahead and cinch down pretty tight. This flat wax thread, you guys, it's pretty tough. You can put quite a bit of pressure on it without breaking it off. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold that back over and really give it a good tight wrap. All right, I'm going to turn this camera around. I'll give a quick zoom in so you guys can see what it looks like real quick. 
All right, you guys, there's what it looks like. You can see that it's, I'm trying to keep my hand behind it so you can see it a little bit. You can see that's really long. There's a lot of excess there. I'll go ahead and trim that off and then I'll keep those pieces because I can use those um, in the future when I do more of these treble hooks. All right, I'll go ahead and I'll get these trimmed off. I'm gonna leave eh, maybe about the length of the hook shank and then I'm gonna cut the rest and I'll save that. Like I said, I can reuse that on, on future trebles. And now we're gonna work on the bucktail portion of the video. So I've got a white bucktail here. I'm gonna do this one in all white with the gold flashaboo. I'm gonna grab a pretty decent sized clump of bucktail and just snip it off. Guys, it's really important, try to get the short hairs out before you tie. Just run your fingers up and down the bucktail and most of your short ones will come out of there. So I'm gonna get this sized up to where I want it. Trim that off, hopefully this will show up, but what I tried to do is get myself a pretty square edge there. So we'll go ahead and we'll lay that down on the hook shank. And again, a couple loose wraps to start. You want to wrap it loose in the beginning, guys, because that's going to give you the ability to shift it around and get it exactly placed how you want it. Once you've got it where you want it, then start tightening up. Give it a good wrap down. And that should be good there. Flip that vise around 180 degrees. We're going to repeat the process. Same thing, get all the short hairs out of there that you can ahead of time. Get that measured up, cut it where I want it. It helps to have a vise that spins uh, 360 degrees, guys, because then you can kind of turn it and get your fingers in there in between the trebles on these smaller treble hooks. These are a little bit uh, tricky to tie just because of how short the shank is, and your fingers are going to be right in there with the hooks, but not too big a deal. So now that I got that where I want it, we're going to go ahead and tighten it down nice and tight. Try to get some of that excess out of there. Not too big a deal. It's just going to thread onto a split ring on the back of a topwater bait anyway, so I'm not too worried about having to run a line through it. But I got that on there really tight, you guys. And like I said, with this 220 flat wax thread, you can put a lot, a lot of pressure on it. So. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna flip this camera around again, give you another close-up view of it so you can see what we're dealing with, and then we're gonna finish this thing off. All right, you guys, try to get that to focus. That looks pretty good. It's kind of tough to zoom with the GoPro. I, I say that all the time. Eventually, I'm gonna have to invest into a little better camera, I think, to make these videos a little more effective. But I think you can get the gist of what we've got there. I've got all those white hairs covered up nice. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to finish this thing off. All right, you guys, some of you have seen me do this before. Um, I know most uh, traditional fly tires use a whip finish. I'm a custom rod builder, so I use the same method that I use to uh, finish off my rod guide installations. I take a piece of, uh, this is 10 pound Power Pro, high viz, just so that I can see it. And I just wrap that in there, come up the hook shank, Give it a good eight to 10 wraps, you guys. Grab my scissors here. Keep pressure on it, keep the tension tight, keep everything from coming unraveled. I'm gonna drop that through my loop. I'm gonna use my right hand here to keep the tension on it. I'm gonna grab my tag ends and I'm just gonna pull that back underneath itself. And you can see 
it's pulled right back underneath itself and it's plenty secure snip off your tag end the last thing I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna use nail polish confiscated this from the wife don't tell you can use head cement if you like uh, nail polish seems to work just fine for me though and we're just gonna go ahead and dab a little bit on each side give it a nice coating of the clear coat make sure you don't have too much excess on there so it doesn't drip off and then the last thing you're gonna wanna do guys is just make sure that that shank is angled down towards the hook eye a little bit that way if any does run it it doesn't run down into your bucktail and keep it from uh, moving freely but again I'm just gonna take a little of the excess off there but that's it you guys that hook is ready to go on to a top water bait as soon as that nail polish is dry and it's ready to fish all right you guys here's a real quick look at one that I tied up ahead of time Try to zoom in on it a little bit for you. I just wanted to have one that was finished so you guys could see what they look like when you're all done. Um, that gold flash just gives it a really nice reflective quality in the light. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of there for you guys. Sorry about that, but I think you guys can see the point there. Um, and again, this is significantly less expensive than going into Bass Pro Shops or going to Tackle Warehouse and ordering pre-dressed treble hooks. All right, you guys, there you have it. A real quick way to tie up some dress trebles for your top water baits. I think the total cost on that is less than $20, you guys. You can buy a whole bucktail for about five and a half bucks. Uh, that Crystal Flashaboo that you saw me use, I bought a big package of that for $5.50. Thread bobbin was about $4. Flat wax thread is about $2. Uh, that's enough material to tie more treble hooks than you can count. And like I said, it's under $20. So for the cost of a couple packs of dress trebles you can tie probably hundreds of them i hope this video helps you guys out i hope you liked what you saw here today hopefully i helped you guys save some money if you like product reviews how to's and fishing videos this is the channel for you don't forget to like and subscribe hit the bell so you get notifications when we upload new videos and we will see you next time on nqs performance outdoors